In this lesson, we will calculate and do a test of significance for rho. What is rho? Rho is the true correlation between two quantitative variables. Recall R is the sample correlation. Rho is the true correlation between two quantitative variables. In order to do a test of significance, we need a test statistic. Our test statistic is equal to R, the sample correlation, times the square root of n minus 2 divided by the quantity square root of 1 minus r squared. Our test statistic has a t distribution with n minus 2 degrees of freedom. So let's go ahead and carry out a test of significance on the following two variables. The two variables are relative humidity in percent and the heat index in degrees Fahrenheit in an environment whose actual temperature is 85 degrees Fahrenheit. We want to know is, is there a correlation between those two quantitative variables. So our question is, is there evidence that the correlation between the relative humidity and heat index is positive? We are going to use LINREG, linear regression on our calculator, only to help us find our sample correlation coefficient r. The first thing we want to do in, in any test of significance is state the null and the alternative hypothesis. Our null hypothesis is that rho equals zero. The alternative is that rho is greater than zero. We believe that there should be a positive association between those two variables, hence the one-sided alternative. I'm not going to write it, but you should, you should also write in English what the null and alternative mean. The null hypothesis is that the correlation between relative humidity and heat index is zero. The alternative is that the correlation between relative humidity and heat and index is positive. Now we're ready to calculate the value of our test statistic. In order to do that, we need to know the correlation, the sample correlation for our 11 data pairs. We will do that by running Lin regression on the calculator. My data is already stored in list 1 and list 2. List 1 contains my x data, list 2 contains my y data. So let's do the regression to get our correlation coefficient. Okay, we want to do uh, calc number 8. We want to do linear regression, x data comma y data. And we see that r is approximately 0.975. So our test statistic will be 0.975 times the square root. There were 11 data pairs used to calculate our sample correlation coefficient. So this is square root of 9, or 3. And it's the square root of 1 minus, and the calculator also gives us r squared, so we don't have to calculate that ourselves. This will be 0.951. If we don't have, want to have issues with rounding, there's a way to get r and r squared from our calculator. If you go to VARS, down to number five statistics, over to equation, this gives, this stores the parameters or the values from our regression. If we go down to r, we have r times three divided by the square root of 1 minus, now let's go get r squared, vars, number 5 for statistics, over to equation, down to number 8, gives us r squared, close the parentheses, and hit calculate. Our test statistic is 13.16. Now we're ready to calculate the p-value for the test of significance. The p-value is the probability that a t-distribution with 9 degrees of freedom is greater than the test statistic of 13.16. The picture of that, we have a t-distribution with 9 degrees of freedom. Our test statistic, it's a one-sided test, therefore the shaded region represents our p-value. To find the p-value, we need to go to, to a T table, or we can use our calculator. If we go to second VARS, down to number 5, TCDF, 
TCDF gives us the area under a T distribution curve. We need to give it the lower bound of 13.16 comma an upper bound and the degrees of freedom for the T distribution. We see that our p-value is 1.75 times 10 to the negative 7th. It is very, very small. 1.7 times 10 to the negative 7th. It is virtually impossible that we would see these 11 data pairs if the co true correlation between those two variables was equal to zero. Because the p-value is so small, we reject the null hypothesis that the correlation between relative humidity and heat index equals zero. We can do a test of significance for rho on our calculator using LINREG t-test. So let's go ahead and do that. STAT over to TESTS, down to the bottom, letter E, LINREG t-test. Our X data is in list 1, our Y data is in list 2. We can test either test of significance about beta, the slope of the regression line, or about the correlation between our two quantitative variables stored in list one, list two. It turns out that the, both the, the test statistics for testing a claim about beta is equal to the test statistic about testing a claim about rho. Recall the formula for the test statistic for rho when we were testing a claim about rho. It's the sample correlation times the square root of n minus 2 divided by the square root of 1 minus the correlation coefficient squared. It turns out that this test statistic is the same for our test statistic when we test a claim about the slope of a regression line in regression. And that test statistic equals b over the standard error of b. Both of these values are the same. That's why when we do LINREG t-test on the TI calculator, it doesn't matter whether we are testing about beta or rho. Both of those tests can be done using the same test on the calculator because the test statistics turn out to be the same. We want to test rho greater than zero in our problem. So we're ready to calculate our test. Here we are testing a claim about rho being greater than zero. We get our test statistic of 13.16 and our p-value of 1.75 times 10 to the negative seventh. So if we would have used LINREG t-test on the calculator, we would list all of these steps that we had previously. We would just know the value of our test statistic and the p-value without going through some of these steps. Just remember that you want to conclude any test of significance with your conclusion in English, which would be for this problem. Because the p-value is so small, we reject the null hypothesis that the correlation between relative humidity and heat index is zero. And our test of significance for rho is complete.